I'm so glad you get to see me in my blue gown before we This get is to actually see my favorite. Hello. Guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlogs. I'm Tom. I do Disney. Hence the name of this channel, Tom Does Disney. I'm shutting off some lights because we are heading out for Bell Day. What is Bell Day, you ask? Well, Bell Day is going to be a Princess Bell centric day where we are going to be seeing the live action Beauty and the Beast show at Hollywood Studios to start things off. We're going to go meet Bell around World Showcase and Epcot. And then we're gonna have uh, Enchanted Tales with Belle and Magic Kingdom. And then we're going to eat at Be Our Guest. So this is gonna be a heck of a first day, a heck of a first part to the day. Welcome to day three, part one. Let's get it rolling. I'll do my best to get any of this in focus, but if you can see these giant lines back there. Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Magic Kingdom all have ridiculous lines. Hollywood Studios, 30 people maybe in this line altogether. Well, rest in peace to those old bus stops because these things are officially open. And not only that, the gondolas are running. So this is crazy. I've literally been waiting for this day for six months to see these things actually up and running is That's genuinely nuts. Look how far down the row goes. Wow, this is so cool. We're back in at Hollywood Studios. It's a little busy in this park here today. But we're here for one or two maybe very specific things. Down to Hollywood Studios we go right on time for this show. And a part of me wants to just pop in a trolley car and get a quadruple espresso or something. So I'm a little tired. All right, I'm gonna say it's a Star Tours. I'm going to say it's a Slinky Dog Ride. Correct? No? Okay. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. She had seen that there was no love in his heart, and as punishment she transformed him into a hideous beast, and placed a powerful spell on the castle and of all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Like the one before, 
Bookshop. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk and a roller. That's nice. Marie, the baguettes. Hurry up. Look, there she goes. The girl is so peculiar. I wonder if she's feeling well. With a dreamy, far off look. And her nose stuck in a book. What a puzzle to the rest of us is well. imagination could have dreamt, for through a series of strange circumstances she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle, 
inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Master will be furious if he finds out what we are up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing. Just our entire future. Oh, pish posh. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Come on, Mom. Come along, Chip, dear. Oh, dear. No need to worry. We'll keep it simple. Hi. Stop. Stop it, I say. Do you hear me? All of you. I said quiet. If we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make them feel welcome. Esteemed madames and messieurs, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents... Your dinner.
understand, Master. The poor girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Need I remind you that your 21st birthday will be here soon? I know that. Perhaps she has come to break the spell. Remember, you must learn to love another and earn their love in return. I know. And then we might all be human again. Yes, yes, human again. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. How lovely. A human again. Wow! <gasps> oh, no. I thought I told you never to come here. Oh, but I just wanted to find out what was underneath It's the... none of your business. Please stop. You I... shouldn't have come to the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. I... I can't help it. Well, how do you know if you don't even try? Uh, um, Say something nice to her. Try to act like a gentleman. I am... I apologize. Apology accepted. That's it. Gently, gently. I, 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 I've never felt this way before. This way, I thought I saw. And when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. No, it can't be. I'll just ignore. But then she's never looked at me that way before. Come together on their own. It's so peculiar. We'll wait and, and see. A few, few days more. There may be something, something there, there that wasn't there, there before. You know, perhaps there is something there that wasn't there before. What? There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? Shh. I'll tell you when you're older. Turn me down for the last time. No one says no to Gaston. Rejected. It's more than I can bear. At least humiliated. I am disgraced. But I have a plan. Someone has to protect our village. Kill the beast, or he will kill your children. Make off with your children. No. He'll come after them in the night. No. no one is safe until his head is mounted on my wall. I say we kill the beast. Kill him. We don't sleep until he's dead. No one stalking us at night. Sent to sacrifice your children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time. Shadows. It's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say a prayer and we're there. Let's draw all the bridge of the castle and there's something to be dark inside. It's a beauty in the bench and the rocks. As it falls for the east. Here it roars, see it's cold, but we're not coming home to the east. Dead. Wait! 
the sticking place. We're counting on this dawn to lead the way. To a mist, to a wood, where within a haunted castle something's lurking that you don't see in the day. It's a beast, one as tall as a mountain. We will press till he's good and deceased. Sally forth, Sally hold, grab his shoulder, grab his
part one of Bell Day down and in the books. We are now going to head over to Epcot World Showcase to meet Bell. We'll have a little snack and then Enchanted Tales. This is a Belltastic day. That show, fantastic. I got the whole thing. I'm going to upload it as its own individual video. It came out super duper good. It's actually one of the only times I've ever filmed something like 100% manual. And uh, yeah. I'm really, really kind of happy with how it came out. So, I will see you guys down on the friendship boat. Let's figure out what we're eating before we go and meet Belle here. I'm thinking the crab cakes up in China. Or maybe the tenderloin actually from Canada. Let's make a decision once we hit the fork up here. I'm gonna run down to Canada and I'm gonna get the filet first because I don't have to meet Belle until one. So let's eat because I'm hungry. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in here, but back here we've got a Mary Poppins penguin. What? Who else? Oh, Pooh's up here too. Mini. Oh my God, Stitch! We gotta meet Stitch. I need to figure out if this is open all the time or not because this is dope. We'll get Pooh Bear too. Stitch. 
Okay, so last time I saw you, last Halloween, you were dressed like Elvis. I haven't seen you since. Where have you been, man? Oh, you've been rocking and surfing, all right? The two best things. I just had to get a fist pump and say hi to you because I saw you back here. Looking good, man. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, Stitch. Crazy. Oh, the mouse is up here too, though. We'll get a shot with just the mouse in the background. All right. Who's the leader of the club? That's made for you and me. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Mickey. So apparently this is 100% random. There's absolutely no schedule to it whatsoever. And we saw our homeboy Stitch totally unexpected. And we haven't seen him since the Halloween party. I might have called it the Christmas party. I hope I didn't, because then I'll look like a dummy. I'm shooting super overexposed because I didn't know where else to eat this, but I got the uh, I got the meat and potatoes. Probably gonna have to find another shot for this because this is not gonna work. Maybe something like that. Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. It should be delicious because it's beef and potatoes. Yeah, that's fine. Actually tasty. This is really good. If there's one thing Epcot festivals can get me to do. It's to eat mushrooms without notice. I'm eating mushrooms. Without noticing I'm eating mushrooms. Although I like carrots a lot, it ruined that big bite a little bit. The sauce, the potato, and the meat. And then follow it up with a bite of the carrot. Oh my god. I'm starting to get buried in memories of how food tastes, but this is good. I don't know where to compare it to other things at other festivals but I smashed that and it was super tasty. Let's get on with part two of Belle Day and get back to a shot where you can actually see me and go meet our girl, Princess Belle. A100 steak right there. I think we might have to have some steak tonight at Be Our Guest just to kind of compare and contrast this whole thing. And now we're gonna go meet Belle for part two of Bell Day. Can't wait. I'm a little, that actually filled me up perfectly, like the perfect amount of food. Very rare do I eat the perfect amount of food at the right time. Bonjour Belle, how are you today? Well, I'm wonderful. I heard you said a lot of flowers that are pollen in the air today. Well, it's just so beautiful though. I can't it's Flower and believe. Garden Festival. What yes, else can we expect? Magnifique. Now, did you get to see any of the beautiful flowers? I yet? did. I, you and Beast over here yes, are obviously course, the best. It's very of kind. You know, me and Philippe love to go to the meadow to see all the beautiful flowers. And now that it's finally springtime, everything's in full bloom. Why, it's truly enchanting. Awesome. So, I'm having a day that's very centric around you. I just saw your show at Hollywood oh, Studios. Yes. It's meeting you here. Of course. Going to Enchanted Tales with you. Yes, oh, so I have to have uh, dinner at Yard Guest. Oh, my goodness. It's so, you'll get to see the feast. Day. Oh, my word. Well, and I just how wanted wonderful. to come and see you. Of course, to be part of that. Thing. Yes, well, how lovely. So I'm so glad you get to see me in my blue gown before we. <laughs> this get is to actually my other. favorite. Well, thank you very much. Isn't it very wonderful? Yes, oh, oh, I enjoy great. it so much. Thank oh, you so much. Thing. Can we get a picture today? So as I was finishing meeting up Belle, as I as I scanned the band, Belle was. Uh, she leans over to me. She goes, I do look forward to our enchanted moment later because I told her I'm going to enchanted tales. She was all au revoir. Oh, these princesses never cease to catch me up a little bit. The test track has a 40 minute, uh, 40 minute wait for a single rider. So I didn't ride it, I haven't rode it yet. I figured there's probably nothing at Magic Kingdom that's this exciting that I can do in 40 minutes. Thunder's gonna be longer than that, Mine Train's gonna be longer than that, so. Let's do this. Hopefully we'll be out of here and on a monorail by two o'clock. That's my goal. It is 1.30 on the dot. Hello. The seatbelt check is around. 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 The seatbelt
commencing soon car off-road and extreme weather scenarios. Test track, it's 210, so not bad. We'll be on the monorail and into Magic Kingdom right on time for our fast pass. I was gonna wander through Mouse just to cut through, and I'm like, ah, oh, look at the Magic Bands. Looky here. Carol Danvers herself got a Magic Band. We'll be doing that as a part of the trip all. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled on the trip all. Also, just a quick point because I don't know when else I'm actually gonna think about it, but. I just finally used the gift card they gave me for not having uh, mouse service. I think I would do that every single time. Opt out of mouse keeping because I don't really need it. I'm not a super duper messy guy and that was like a $60 gift card. That's a lot of money. That's three for three on days at Magic Kingdom. In we go for Enchanted Tales with Belle probably something else beforehand or after. I really like to do something beforehand that way I can go right from Enchanted Tales right into Be Our Guest. These are the awkward moments where the pass holder line is actually longer than the rest of the lines and you can get in shorter by not going into the pass holder line. I'm just trying to find like any spot to cut in here like literally anywhere. Finally. I was like in the middle of the street that whole entire time. At least this dude's paying attention. It's the festival of fantasy, y'all. We're gonna definitely watch a little bit of this. It is time for our fast pass for Enchanted Tales with Bell Part 3 and almost the finale of Bell Day. Welcome to the home of Bell and her father, Maurice. As you may know, Maurice is an inventor, and as you look around his workshop, you'll be able to see some of his plans, some blueprints, and even some working models of some of his inventions. And I just so happen to know the perfect day that we could go back in time and visit Bell in the castle. If you'll all please repeat after me. Take me back to the day Bell and Beast fell in love. Take me back to the day Bell and Beast fell in love.
separated. Little villagers first, little villagers first. And with our center work by Jolene. Thank you, out of there a little early and I came out of this like back exit it was kind of weird I feel bad I didn't really finish out the whole thing but 
we have VR guest reservations, which this literally walk you, you walk out of this and you're there. So super excited. Here we go. All right. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Wrap a napkin around your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. I have this sneaking suspicion that this is not really going to be worth it. I don't know. I'm definitely not as hyped as I was for Artist Point last night, and it's cost just the same price, so... We'll say about this. This might be my biggest regret of the trip is actually coming to be our guest for dinner instead of lunch. Oh, it was quick. The check-in's quick, but the thing is they don't like get to let you pick your table or anything. You know, there's no kind of option there, so I really hope we sit in the main dining room. I don't really want to sit in the West Wing or the uh, ballroom or the whatever Beauty and the Beast room. All right, we're back. And it's actually really quiet in here compared to lunchtime where there's like a thousand people screaming. This is actually a much better situation. So looking forward to a nice quiet dinner inside of Be Our Guest. I grabbed the Alexander Valley cab up because I love Alexander Valley wines. They do not have cocktails here at Be Our Guest. Eh, it's $16 glass of wine, that's a lot. But I know it's gonna be good, so no complaints. I asked if the lamb chops are New Zealand because if they are, I'm probably gonna have lamb chops. Our biggest difference here, right off the rip, I, I can feel this is a much fancier experience. Much fancier. The Storybrook was like a party, you know what I mean? This is more of like your anniversary. This is where you come, special occasion kind of thing. All right, the Alexander Valley cabs are usually Hello, good. How you doing, sir? Good. Oh, How awesome. You? Cheese plate time. Thanks so much. I have a cheese plate here if you need a new description of the cheeses and the meats. Just gonna go for it. Good, all right, so from the right to your left, which is from the lighter to the strong, okay? Perfect, lighter to strong. Yep. Thank you. All the Instagramming is done. First things first, how's the bread here compared to uh, the bread that we had at Tiffin's, which is really like the only other super fancy place that gave us bread. kind of stale. I kind of like stale bread a little bit sometimes though. Makes me feel like I'm like some old pirate or some prisoner in some lost dungeon. Makes me confident that I could live off of bread. Let's eat some damn cheese and meat. Cheers. All right, blue cheese is my favorite. So we're gonna wait for that. There's a little bit of chutney on here, some liver. I got a lot of choices. I don't really know what the best way to attack this is. We even got brown mustard on this plate. A lot of flavors. So first thing we're gonna do is take a nice chunk of this blue. And we're just gonna try it on its own. Cracker. Oh, I don't have any autofocus on. <laughs> Deep and pungent. Everything you want blue cheese to be. Oh yeah, Alexander Valley just don't make bad red wines. If you, it's not a, it's a region. If you see Alexander Valley region wine, whether it's a Merlot, a Blend, a Cab, get that. Because it's always gonna be super duper good. Now we're gonna try this 
kind of cow's cheese. But it's got kind of a cheddar-y vibe going. So I think what I'm gonna do with that is take a piece of the chorizo and make myself a little sandwich. <laughs> oh my God. A little mustard. Wow. The chorizo. <laughs> that chorizo is top, top notch. Super, super tasty. Nice deep flavor to it. Oh my god, that's some of the best goat cheese I've ever had. I need more of that right now. This is the, I eat a lot of goat cheese. This is the best goat cheese I've ever had in my life. Wow. This is easily the best pick of things to eat for appetizers. My mind is blown over this goat cheese. It's so serious. Did you say this is goat cheese? Yes, sir. This is the best goat cheese I've ever had in my life. That's what's going on. It's the yeah, truffle. It's very truffly. Yeah. So you can let those guys know I eat stuff like this all the time and this some of these things are really outrageous. So they did a good job picking this awesome. out. Yeah, I'll cool. go ahead and pass it Thanks. Can I get you any more bread or anything like that? I'll be good. Thank you so much. Thank you. A little prosciutto. More of that mustard with the prosciutto. They go nice together. They go really nice together. That's why I always get a charcuterie board when I see it. Because you can create a ton of different flavors. We're gonna go with a little bit of this duck pate here. And a slice of the blue cheese. And that should be a nice, pungent, delicious bite. Mmm! Oh, so much different than the thing I ate before it. Let's have more of that. All right, dinner's definitely gonna be worth it. 100%. The dinner's already worth it. I feel so much better about coming in here already. You can't get this at lunch. It's like a thousand flavors. I haven't tried this jam because I don't know what to eat it on. Let's just try the jam on its own with a little piece of bread. Yeah. They always throw a jam on charcuterie plates, but I don't know why. It's, it's sweet, it's nice, you know, it's a nice little break in between all the hyper dark flavor. Whatever they are, I think it's blackberry. That's all right. I want more of this duck and blue cheese though. The duck blue cheese bite. So far on the crostini, this thing's winning. Oh, 
I love that. It's like super deep flavors, you know? <laughs> cheers to the beast. Actually, cheers to the whole kitchen staff. Lumiere, Cogsworth. Oh, so good. All right, let's go back to the cow cheese bite with the chorizo and the mustard. I think that was on a crostini too, but we're gonna bust this crostini in half. Mm -hmm. The beauty of a charcuterie board by the time you move from one side to the other, you forget what all the flavors were. Wow. Okay, folks. This charcuterie board is officially the best thing I've ever eaten in Disney World. This just passed the candy bacon by a mile. By a mile. If I could just come in to be our guest to eat this, I'd be doing it. So that means that we're definitely going to have to try the charcuterie board at Baseline Tap House. The mustard, hot right off the rip. Then the cheese, nice and smooth. Then all that spice, meatiness from the chorizo follows it up. Truly fantastic bite of food right there. Last one of those. And that's the beauty of it, it's the same exact sensation. Spiciness from the mustard, creaminess of the cheese, all that dark, deep Mexican spice. We got a winner here, folks. Last duck with the blue cheese. Oh, brings you back. Way darker. More aggressive than the rest of it, you know? In your face. Wow, this has been amazing. Woohoo, we on the ladder. We on the last half of this cheese board now. Back to the best goat cheese I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Wow. So, <laughs> this is like, guys, I'm in shock. I almost didn't even like want to come in here at first. I was outside on the bridge half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, saying how, what, what was I saying guys? You watch, You just watched it. I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna regret this. It's not gonna be that good. Regret this. It's the best meal I've ever eaten at Disney. By a mile. by a mile. Shout out to Emily, wannabe Mouseketeer. You knew that Be Our Guest was dope. I 
I was wrong. I was so, so wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, our final bite of the best thing I've ever eaten in Disney World. That thing was incredible. Totally incredible. Man, that thing was so shockingly good. Like, this filet is gonna be dope, I'm sure, but I'm gonna need a little bit of that cheese, I think. I might need a little bit more of that truffle goat cheese or some blue cheese, something else to kind of cut that meat, because that was super good. Get it while it's hot. The steak looks outrageous. Look at me focusing my, on my own. No autofocus needed. I need to take a picture of this. Pictures have been taken, the beast has arrived, and now we are gonna eat some steak. This thing smells outrageous. This is not the best steak I've ever had. It, I think it's right on, nah, Tiffin steak was right here, this is things like right here. Potato puree is nice. It's definitely a mid rare cook on this thing. I did ask for medium. But I don't send steaks back, I never do that. A. I hate wasting food. B, it takes longer than it, for you to have dinner. And if you're within range, you know, if I order it medium, it comes mid well, we'll have a conversation. It comes out mid rare, there's where it is, a little softer than I want it to be. Going right down the hatch, though. Like I said, the better steak was Tiffin's, but I would get this again, and I would try to get, I would order it medium again. And if it came out wrong, I would just try to get a little fire on it, just to really get a taste of how good a medium steak from here is. Cook for me. I can't comp compare a steak that got cooked perfectly for me at medium to something that didn't get cooked perfectly for me. I know most people think that's sacrilegious to get your steak more than mid-rare. But I saved the, bit, the ends for last, my favorite parts. I realized I wasn't recording just now, but the last few bites of this are medium. A, because they've been sitting here on the plate, and B, it's the, it's a, I'm gonna assume the part that got charred the most, or got the most heat in the oven or on the grill, but. This thing was outrageous, yeah. Last bite. Call it. Dinner, be our guest, delicious. Dessert time. I've already had the gray stuff, so I know what I'm in for here. Dessert is not just the gray stuff, it's a trio of desserts. Let's see what they bring. All right, we have the trio of desserts. We're gonna start with the macaron, because I don't like macarons. Uh, Okay. Ooh. 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 This is the most potent 
little lemon concoction. And there's like a tiny little bit of lemon on this thing, and it just, oh, oh my god, it's the most powerful lemon flavor I've ever had. This paper's edible. That is so weird. I'm not here to eat paper. thinking like, I don't know. I really don't know what that was. That was the most lemony thing I've ever eaten in my life. We got chip too. All right, I'm gonna let the cannon try to auto-focus on me for the rest of this. Cause I'm hitting a brick wall of food. Here's the deal, I know I like this. But, Disney, we have to talk. What's up with your obsession over white chocolate? I don't like this stuff. But the actual gray stuff, it's really just like the lightest, creamiest frosting. Like whipped cream, even. Last but not least, we've got this awesome little chocolate profiterole. Whoa. Holy shit. That little chocolate ball is like seriously good. Super deep, there's some salt on there. Ooh. Let's see how the Alexander Valley does with some chocolate. It's such a clean wine, it goes with literally anything you pair it with. You want meat? You want cheese? You want chocolate? I bet you it doesn't do well with seafood, although I'm a white wine guy when I drink, when I eat, I, when I, I'm a white wine guy when I eat seafood, I drink white wine. When I'm eating meat, I do the red. Oh man, I'm really hitting a wall here. Whatever calories we burn today, we just ate them back. We go with the truffle with some of the gray stuff on it. Besides chip, made of white chocolate. I'm sorry, Chip. I love you, man, but I don't like white chocolate. So I didn't eat Chip. I ate I ate that little tails all this time scroll piece of chocolate. But uh, I'm not eating Chip. Dinner at Be Our Guest was fantastic. Lola, our server, was a treat. Very kind. Didn't rush me at all. And I've been here for like an hour and 40 minutes, so I'm gonna try to hook her up a little bit, more than 20%, and uh, get out of here. I need to go and take a breath because I feel like I'm about to explode. <laughs> It's time to thank the beast for this awesome meal that we've had here. Beast! I just want to say thank you very much for dinner tonight. That was fantastic. Tell Lumiere and the guys they're doing a bang up job back there. Excellent, excellent meal. Thank you. Just wanted to grab a picture if we could, sir. Thank you so much.
bell day has completed ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining that was part one of day three bell day we'll be heading out into magic kingdom for part two of day three like subscribe comment down below and i will see you guys in just a little bit